Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Train Man, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are sitting pretty on the surface of Minmus. We've got plenty of fuel in our ascent stage. There's really only one stage going on here, but the point is we've got plenty of fuel. This is going to be quite an episode. We're going to have to have a very efficient system because we're going to be launching three things and docking them all to the same lander all this episode. Well, that's what I want to do, so let's stop lollygagging and get in orbit. We've got a point... Is this the direction we're supposed to be pointing? I assume so. Wait a minute. Where is that slopey thing? Right, it's up over there. So we need to go... that way. Which way is that way? That's north. Where? That way. That way. Over there. Alright. Let's do this. And let's just finish this guy off and get him into a full orbit. That is a 15,000... Uh, meter apoapsis. Now there may have been a video, an extra video this week. Uh, whether that happens on the time of this recording or after this recording is kind of... It's not really decided yet, but the fact of the matter is I may be making a video for my physics class regarding orbital mechanics, and in which case, depending on what episode it comes out, it may supersede this video, or what have you. I'm not really sure how that's going to work. I still need to talk to my physics teacher about it. But I, I have approached him about it, and he's shown interest in the fact that uh, while we're doing orbital mechanics, why not use, you know, a student resource. Alright, let's... that's one guy in orbit. I have three. So let's get guy number two in orbit. That was, what, two and a half minutes? Let's see if we can do this one in two. Of course, it starts us way zoomed out. And so I need to kind of go down, I think. That way. Whatever that way is. Towards the ladder. Let's hold up the ladder, first of all. Just for... <laughs> for intelligence sake. Alright. And... Nope, other way. That way. Duh, I should remember this. That's a little bit high for me. I'm not used to being that high. Just like... Nope. We haven't actually gotten high enough yet. It must be really interesting to just turn your engines off and coast like this. Alright, you know, let's actually extend the panels. Before we burn up all of our electric charge, which I don't see happening too soon, but even still. No, I want to, can I? Hey, I can't focus my... For goodness sake. Alright. Turn this thing into a full orbit, will ya? Let's finish that orbit off by going to our apoapsis. It's 
So we're gonna have three very wonky orbits. That's fine. I mean, they won't be that wonky, they'll all be mostly circular. But, uh, we're gonna have three different orbits. We're in the dark on this one. Of course Candy's in the dark, what should I expect? As I said, he is the special one. This guy's got both of his solar panels extended, though. Is the ladder down? Yes, let's put the ladder back up. Did I put the ladder back up with the first one? Was the ladder even down on the first one? I don't remember. Alright. Let's get out of here. That's probably fine. It's actually not. There. That looks alright. Let's get up there. This guy has more fuel than the other ones do. I wonder why. I kinda wish I'd designated the ship something different. I'll have to figure out which one is the ship now. I'm guessing it's that one. Alright, let's switch to this guy and rename him. So that we know which one is which. Because it's gonna be confusing if we don't. Yeah, I picked the right one at least. Uh, our pro body is in there. Rename vessel. Pro. There. All set. Turn off R, R. Turn off R. Yes. Turn off RCS for now. And we do cross the orbits of all three of them, which is good. We're gonna do this one first, just because he's right here. Switch to. I'm thinking of how exactly we're gonna do this. There it is, actually, right there. It's only 19 clicks out. 19 and a half. Oh! Is that perfect or what? Point two kilometers. Thirty one millisecond burn. I think we can handle that one. Three, two, one. Burn will be less than a second, I know that much. Something's not right with my Well if I burn at max it'd be Maybe not less than a second, but a very, very short time. Are you kidding me? Now, if I had curb an alarm clock... And then I would do all three of these at once. However, I do not have curved alarm clock. Whoop! There it is. By the way, I just, I came up, I was just thinking, and I came up with a name for the, uh, the mod pack that I made. I, I know, I, I probably didn't make it personally. In fact, I'm, I'm certain it's almost identical to Scott Manley's, Scott Manley's mod pack. But I came up with a name for that set of set of mods, and I'm I'm coining this term right now. So don't even try and take a, take it away from me. Feed the kraken. 
Oh, Sugar Shack. Perfect. Now let's go get him, Tiger. Will this do anything for me? Sure. We still don't have the highlands. Nor do we have the poles, but that's kind of... We don't care about the poles right now. There ain't no Santa Claus on Minmus. How long does a uh, orbit of Minmus take? A few minutes, apparently. Uh, a few... Yeah, it's hours, right? A couple of hours. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Did it just say it was below? Is it below us or above us or what? Isn't it supposed to be below us? No, it's to the side of us. Oh, there it is. Yeah, alright, we're, we're within the area that'll give us loading play. So I need to turn towards the not the direction we're going direction. The retrograde vector, as it were. Oh, let's not go flying past this guy, as I have many times before. Again, I'm trying to get all three dockings done this episode. And then I'm going to seriously consider heading back to, um... Or heading over to the modded version. Although there's still so much stuff to do here. I've never been to Eve. Well, I've been to Eve, but I've never left Eve. I've never been to Gilly. Alright, uh, let's point towards the thing. Just use RCS. That's a nice picture. Use that as a screenshot. Or as a, a background. Kind of tempts me to check what my background is right now. Because I'm not going to in the middle of an episode. There we go. I just perchance got one of the docking ports, so that's fine with me. Alright, let's get a chase view. Pew pew. Alright. I want to pass under it. I'm going to slow down. I'm coming into dock with the mothership. I believe the docking port I chose is the one on the bottom, so... If it isn't, I'm going to be a little bit screwed up. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, 
Alright. Might have wanted to fold in the solar panels. Let's do the ones here. Of course. They're all damn faulty. The action groups didn't take. Whoa, that's, that's some serious grip. Kind of wanted to be a little bit more oriented than that, but that's fine. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to transfer all the fuel into this main tank. There. That's great. Well done. Alright, next. Let's go to the next one. Who's the nearest? Switch to. I have 15 minutes into the episode. We still need to get this thing, not only get this thing back and dock it with the giant space station, which probably is going to be next episode now that I think about it, if we don't have the science episode, the physics episode. Oh look, we did all this with the ladder down. It's like driving around with your door open. There should be a little indicator in the cockpit that goes ding, 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 when you leave the ladder down. Wouldn't that be helpful? The correct answer is no, not at all. Great, no. Is this it? I need to switch this thing back to it. Blinky, like, spaceship light. Tango, no, this is not the right one. The one closest to it. Alright, not only should I deactivate this engine over here, because it's dead, it's got no fuel in it. Shut down engine. Uh, I need to designate this thing a. Control from here. Rename vessel a probe. Technically, it's a station. Maybe I should have a Minmus base station. Yeah, I think I ought to build one out here. That should be an episode in between. I'll build a Minmus station. I'm not sure exactly what I'd put on it. Maybe something similar to the Kerbin station. Maybe I can propel one of those things out here. Alright, uh, aside from that, though, switch to... This guy. I wonder what kind of science I'll have when I'm done with this. I'd like to actually get this thing home within the hour. Back to Kerbin, but I have actually no way of taking it all the way down to Kerbin. I don't have a capsule with a parachute on it docked at the space station. Which is bad because, you know, in case of catastrophic failure, you always want to have an escape pod. Alright, uh, set as target. Oh, that's not good. That's in the ground. No, come on. There. Wait, what? Oh, there. Intersection two. Let's spin this thing around to face where we need to go. What's up, Harry Epps, on this one? 10,000. Still low, but not ground smashingly low.
Also, if you guys have been keeping track of Kerbal Space Program development, you may have heard about the next update, which is uh, called the... I don't know, something something about asteroids. It's got it's got three letters in it, and it's a prelude to one, two, four. So that's what I've heard at least, something like that. Or point two four, not one two four. But uh either way, my point being that uh next update's coming soon and I'm gonna be very happy with it because we're going to get asteroids to track with the tracking station. It's going to add more discovery to the game, which is, which makes me very happy. Alright, I can manage the, with that. Let's go around. We're not going to hit the ground, right? No, we're, we're clear in the sky. Look at all the flags. I'm going to get rid of the flags, because they're kind of annoying. No, oh, and of course, we can't go down that low on that high of a time warp. We're almost there. Let's find our target. Down there. Yeah, that was easier than the last time. Supposed to get within, what, 0.5 kilometers of us? Should be loading delay in a couple of seconds. Yeah, there it is. Not there yet, but we're close. What I should start doing is actually spinning to face our retrograde. Almost there, almost there. Not almost there, we can speed this up a little bit. We have that tense moment of, you know, it's gonna happen any second now, it's not gonna happen any second now, let's get there. Let's make it happen any second now. So that's 500 meters. Still going away, but it's slowing down considerably. Alright, let's do this right here. Right here, right now. Come on, let's do this. Alright, now let's head towards it. Well, it's Bill, you must be getting sick or something. Cause I'm spinning you all around here. Supposed to do that with RCS alone. Let's slow down a little bit. 4.5 is a respectable speed. Let's pick docking port on this guy. Set as target. All right, we're we're all good. We set that as target. Tap tap. I know I have a loud keyboard. I can always hear it in the videos. Sure you guys can too. I think it adds a bit of character, don't you? Maybe not. Alright, let's head towards our target now. You've gotten dialed in enough. I don't want to gun it, mind you. Oh, it is still not pointed at 
the direct angle towards us. It's close though. Paying attention only to the nav ball right now. It's the most important part of this. Shut the solar panels. Okay, shut one of the solar panels. Let's shut the other one. Alright, that's good. I was just trying to get a spot on lined up. Let's go for it now. I mean, spot on is kind of a relative term, don't you think? Boom. Alright, two out of three done. Half an hour out of the damn video. Alright, one more to do. You know, I don't actually have to change the... the indicator for that one now. Now that I've, uh... gotten there, I guess. Zoom in all the way. There we are. Because, well, not now that I've gotten there, but now that we only have this one left, it's not like I'm going to confuse them. This is the only one that doesn't directly cross it at a node. Let's, let's balance out our orbits here and then see what we can do from there. No, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Pretty much on opposite sides of the planet. Doing the same orbit. Hmm. Do we have to swing way out for this one? Apparently. It's not like it's going to be that much delta V. What, 100 meters per second, maybe? Less? Let's try and get an actual encounter, though. Not an encounter, per se, but... You get what I mean. Point where they intersect. Instead of just two points where they're relatively close to one another. Oh, come on. Ah, there we go. I hate how finicky these controls can be, but... Could be worse. You know, a lot of people complain about how games are released in alpha and they're released unfinished. Whenever I get a game in alpha, I mean, I, I very, I'm not the guy who goes around and buys a bunch of games. Uh, I know a lot of Let's Players do that, and they'll just pick up games and they'll they'll play them on camera a little bit, like first impressions videos and stuff. I don't really have the means to do that, or else I would. And I'm not the guy who fills up his library during Steam sales either, even though if I had the means to, I probably would. But aside from all that, the game, the few games that I have picked up in alpha, that'd be uh, the Daisy standalone, this. I picked up Minecraft when it was in beta, before people really hated the term, uh, or the, the premise. Uh, 
what other games did I pick up when they were in their development phases? I'm not sure. I don't know too uh, too many other games because I haven't seen any game trans that I own transition from alpha to beta or beta to release since Minecraft. Uh, so. 5.5. That's 0 0.6. We're going to use the first intersect there. Right, let's go for a spin around Minmus. Frankly, though, whenever I, these alphas that I do get, when coming back to the topic at hand, these alphas that I do get, whenever I see them, I'm never disappointed. In fact, I'm always, I'm always in awe of the fact that these games that are supposedly very in development are so good. I mean, this this uh, Kerbal Space Program for I know I know that is technically the outlier in this case, but I still feel that way about it. Kerbal Space Program is really good. Uh, DayZ is pretty good. I mean, it has its bugs, and so does this game. But frankly, for being alphas, they are they are pretty. If not polished, they're solid. That's what I look for in a game. I, I can get past glitchy things, or else I wouldn't be dealing with trains of six. Oh, there you are. Oh, you're getting farther away. See on. Oh, I forgot to transfer all that fuel. Tons of RCS on this thing, don't we? I don't know why I packed so much RCS. Frankly, I think it just looks good though when you have the six little tanks scattered around the edge here. It does. It does look better than less RCS, I guess. Originally, I thought of attacking two of the smaller tanks in the ends here. I'm not sure if we have those tanks. We're closing in on victory. Literally. What was that from? We're closing in on victory. You're cl oh, at the Halo announcer. You're closing... The enemy is closing in on victory. Yeah. They say that. Or well, they. The announcer says that. The very entertaining... The always entertaining Halo announcer. Snapshot. I uh, work. You know, 230 meters away and counting. Our little spaceship still looks like it's drifting, or well, it's drifting this way uh, in relative to the planet. But we're drifting downwards relative to our to our main ship over there. I have to find the one empty docking port. I wonder where that is. Is that on the bottom? Oh, well, I wonder where it is relative to us, because the ship could be spinning and tumbling. I don't even know. Start slowing us down. Figure this out by doing some fancy camera work. There, we go. there it is. We're gonna go by on this side. Then we're gonna slow down and stop and then turn towards docking port.
right? Just lining up like this. Using some transverse motion in order to get us where we need to go. And now let's bring that down now that we're basically right on top of it. Well, I'm not going to break any solar panels off doing this. I didn't retract mine, nor did I retract our targets. Well, I haven't retracted the targets at any point during this. Looking off course. Looks like this one is going to be good. Boom, there we go. Now let's slosh all this fuel back to the main tank and burn for home. Out. 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 Wait, wrong one. Out. Out. Hardly have got any fuel in this tank. Out. Out. Although I think that's one of the, I think this was a lander that had the least fuel to begin with, and it had to do the most, uh, the the widest arc on its way back, so it just wasn't lined up correctly. In, in. All right, wait, what's the other? I don't understand why this engine had fuel. Where are you getting fuel from? This is empty. This is empty. This is empty. Well, let's test that. Okay, it's taking fuel from there. I don't know why that one is... Oh, I guess... No? I don't know. I don't know how the fuel transfer works. It's weird in this game. Alright. Let's, uh, hold out our panels again, though. Actually, no, let's keep these guys folded in, because they're at cockeyed angles, and it's kind of ugly. We've got to burn towards... So we're going... Wait, which way are we going around? Oh. Ah! I knew we could get a Mooner encounter if I tried hard enough. How low is this periapsis? Oh, 15,000. I'm gonna try and use that Mooner encounter to slow us down. Ah. That's good. Hold on. Could I make that even better? Can't see the periapsis, though. 13,000. No, let me just open up this. What I was saying about the GUI earlier, this basically, this basically sums up all of my complaints.
Ja. Alright, let's see if we can now. Alright, the best maneuver we're probably gonna get is actually the one where you exit before the apoapsis. Now my reasoning behind that is that you can do a burn at your apoapsis to bring your periapsis down low enough to enter the atmosphere. Or, well, bring your periapsis down low enough to come in contact with the space station. I forgot about that. We're not actually coming down. God, I'm glad I didn't try to land in this ship. You know what, let's, uh, after we make that burn, I think I should make a quick save before I do something else really stupid. Don't ever do that again. Hold on, let's, um... minute and 20 seconds burn. Think we have enough fuel for that? Oh, we have plenty of fuel. Let's try and go for... Yeah, that's, that's good enough. Something's not right about this. Maneuver keeps moving. Try and stay ahead of it. Uh -oh. What's going on here? Where am I controlling this from? God damn it. Where's that maneuver note? There it is. We're probably gonna have to adjust for our motor encounter now. I knew something was off. This made it burn. At least it's a shorter burn than they said it was gonna be. Probably because the rocket was facing the wrong way. get our money counter. Damn it! No, there's still hope. Oh! Hold on. Hold on. That is a very inclined... Any chance we can get that revive? You know what, let's just finish out the burn. No, I shouldn't have done that. Alright. Uh, let's reverse this burn. I can alter this... Oh. When I'm done being inclined. Alright. I'm inclined to fix this. Aha! See what I did there. So I'm quite certain you did. Great, now I can't actually see what's going on. No, no, you know what? Let's use this maneuver node to fix our Mooner encounter. Get ourselves an orbit that's level. Possibly more beneficial to what we're trying to do. That's... Not beneficial, that's slamming into the moon. Oh! There we are. All 
Alright, that's fine. We're gonna do a nice Mooner flyby on the way back. In a day, we're hitting that burn. I'm gonna get as far as we can in the hour that we have. Next episode, I'll start out with building the shuttle, if I remember to. Forty minutes, thirty minutes, twenty minutes, ten minutes, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Here's to the hope that we're controlling it from the right end. Well, I have to say though, if this guy makes it back, I will. Uh, sorry, I will have to say though, if this guy makes it back. The mission will be called a success. We're gonna have to be a little bit careful with how exactly we do this, though, because running out of fuel would be a serious problem. Okay, you, you've got to pick one of these encounters, man. Yes, it worked. Alright. We're gonna do a funny, fun little slingshot around the moon. That's a little bit low. Let's try and fix that before I smash into the lunar surface. Damn it, I can't fix it. Alright, we gotta fix it manually. Alright, uh, can I just do this? Yes. I'd like a periapsis of at least 15,000. I believe the highest mountain is 10,000. Fine with 20. Look how much fuel we have for this engine. It's a lot of fuel. Also, we don't need this much RCS fuel. Come on, just get by the moon. Come on! Get by the moon! Whoa! Christ almighty! That scared me. I, my, I had a heart attack when that happened, I'll be honest. I would, just had a little, you know, jolt in the chest. Hit the, uh, hit the time forward arrow one too many times. Oh dear. We're gonna get another lunar encounter. Not if I can help it. What's the space station orbiting at? 150,000. Alright, let's burn to 150,000. Burn this thing down to 150. Slowly and steadily. Can I click on the damn victory station? Alright, hold on. Get rid of the flags. Get rid of the probes. I want to set this as target. It won't let me, though. I don't want to switch vessels. 
For God's sake, just let me change, select the target. Click, click, nope, nothing, okay. Of course, the day I sit around commending Kerbal Space Program for being a good alpha. There we go. Set his target. Gives me all sorts of grief. So I got plenty of electric charge. Plenty of fuel as well. Whoa. What did I just do? Am I really gonna hit the moon again? God, it's everywhere. <laughs> That's kind of funny looking. It's like... Friggin'... Uh, what's... The game show? Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Spins around and around and around. Separation 37 kilometers. Alright. Burn of two minutes. Alright. Well, I can go for that. Though I think it'll take us more than eight minutes to... You know, no. I, I'm, I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. Uh, just so that I don't know. Not. Let's just get this done with. Holy cow. Oh, we should have started already. I was not looking at the burn, I was looking at the intersect. Probably could have used the moon's influence better. And also strip down the weight of this thing. If I had Kerbal Attachment System, I'd pull off one of the batteries. You know, I think I might just smash this busser and get a new one. Uh, with less RCS fuel. Uh, because, of course, the only time it's going to be docking to something, it's going to have these guys attached to it. Less RCS fuel, you know, uh, maybe, maybe we don't need this. Just basically, the weight needs to be cut down. And on these these guys as well, but not so much. These guys are decent. Less weight, more fuel. That's something I think we can agree on. Did notice that we didn't need these... We didn't need that fuel tank at all. So I think I might keep that fuel tank empty. Oh, well, no. Uh, keep that fuel tank full, use it as a reserve for our fuel. Which we're burning at about half a liter. I'm guessing it's a liter. Uh, you know, 0.7 of a liter per second of liquid fuel. With uh, 60 seconds left. So it's about 40 units of fuel, it's about to be used up. It's just some rough math. 45 units of fuel? Yeah, 45 units of fuel. Assuming if this was 75. I wish I could build drop tanks into this, but I'd have to reattach them every time. And we all know what happened last time I used drop tanks. There should be a flashback to smashing that rover onto the moon. Onto Mun. Mm. 
just sitting here burning. Once we're all set with this. Well, frankly, if we need to do something drastic, we have tons of RCS. And lots of RCS jets. Docking this thing is going to be a pain, but at the very least, we're going to have that on our side. Yeah, something definitely needs to be cut down. The burn is kind of moving away. Alright, that's good enough. Fresh 39 kilometers. Next thing to do is probably fix our inclination. That's something to worry about next episode because we've almost hit an hour. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week when we finally get all this science back to the research labs. Blah, 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 blah. Train man out.